Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we have a really fun episode today. It's that time. It's that time of the week. It's time for the Undervalued Key Show. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get the the uh, box open this t this uh, particular undervalued key is still in the box. I haven't got it open yet. Oh, sticky tape. Don't you love sticky? Ugh. Let's try this side, maybe. Maybe just tape taped this side. <laughs> still a little bit weak, so. Now, give you guys a hint, it is a Venom key, and oh, there we go, oh wow, scary, okay, it was just in, dang, I hope it's okay, he did send me a Mylar here though, instead of a regular, CGC bag. That's nice. Oh, it's okay. Looks like it's okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so the undervalued key of the week is uh, Venom 2099 number one from Marvel Comics, February of 2020. It is the first appearance of Aaliyah Bell. This is the Variant Edition by Ron Lim. And, uh, yeah, just you guys know me in these 2099 books. If I get a chance, I'll just go ahead and set her up there for the show. If I get a chance, you know I like to, uh, throw a little love the 2099 way. Um, so on this one, it's the first appearance of Aaliyah Bell, Venom 2099. Her arm uh, was badly burned in a maglev crash as a child, and in that same accident, it also resulted in the unfortunate death of her mother. Now, she underwent an operation at Alchemex to fix her arm. However, they had implanted a piece of the Venom symbiote to make her a super soldier. Now, obviously, that wouldn't be anything she wanted any part of, so she became the Venom of 2099. And this is her first appearance in the Venom 2099 book. Now, as usual, I get, we'll get dived into some other interesting numbers and facts about, about the book. Um, and then we'll finish it off with, uh, with the prices that I, that I was able to see off of eBay. <laughs> um, now, this is a book you can find in the raw for just 10 to $15, but the CGC data doesn't have it as too expensive of a book. So, you know, you can always decide, um, but uh, as far as the CGC uh, actual, like the, the numbers on their website, so there's three different covers, oh, guys. So I'm gonna kind of break it down like that. So it's a Jody Hauser story uh, Francesco Mobili and Geraldo Borges art and uh, Clayton Crane cover A has a total of 170 uh, graded copies with 150 of those being a 9.8 so as you can see, there aren't very many books that are not 9.8 of this of, of this book. And that's going to continue, that trend will continue. The Ron Lim variant, which is the one that I chose to get, because I like the cover the most. I don't know. And I, I'm, a, I'm a Ron Lim fan from back in the day, if you guys didn't know. He drew the cover art and a bunch of did a bunch of work for X-Men 2099. Uh, or the cover art for X-Men 2099 number one way back in the day. Um, so it's kind of a, a true 
2099 fan shout out to have him do one of the variants of the th of the three. Uh, now there are a, a hundred total copies of the Ron Lim variant graded with 76 of those being in a 9.8. Um, there is a Smit 1 in 25 variant. And there are a total of 64 graded copies of that with 52 of them being in a 9.8. And those, those are the, the, the numbers, you know what I'm saying? And there are only those three covers for this book. So not too confusing. Um, I didn't see any, any great, at least I didn't see any graded copies of a, of a store exclusive or anything. So I think there's just those three covers, uh, kind of a, you know, it's, it's a needle in a haystack book that you wouldn't find a lot. But if you do find it, it is not that expensive of a book. Obviously, with how many copies are graded, uh, it doesn't have a really high demand. I'm sure there was a bigger print run. Um, and so there may very well be, in fact, I'm sure of it, that there's more 9.8s out there having yet to be graded. Um, so you can find this book in a raw high grade for about $10 to $15. And uh, when I did some data, the 9.8, the one I I bought for $66 shipped, the low was $65 shipped for a Clayton Crane uh, variant, and the high was $114 shipped for the Clayton Crane variant, and uh, oddly enough, the Ron Lim variant is the only one that there... My, my purchase was the only data that there was. So I don't know if my purchase kind of set the bar for how much the Ron Lim book goes for. It was an eBay auction. It ended with 10 bids and I walked away with the book. I don't remember what my top dollar was. I, I, I just kind of wanted it. <laughs> um, there's a couple of us, I guess, fighting each other for it. Um, and yay, I somehow walked away with that one. Uh, <laughs> Um, and so I did, I did look up some, uh, you know, on eBay in a 9.6, there was only one sale of a 9.6. It was the Clayton Crane cover and that went for $52. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and there's no, there's no 9.4 data at, at all. Um, just a fun book to add to my ever-growing 2099 first appearance collection. Um, I just thought it was a cool book and for just $66, I guess. <laughs> you guys know I'm such a big Venom fan and um, I did think this was a cool character. I, I, do, I do think it's a cool character. Um, it's just unfortunate that the run didn't continue very far you know it only it only went for a few issues um, so maybe we'll see a Leah Bell one day again maybe not either way I thought it was a cool one to show you guys so the undervalued key of the week Venom 2099 number one from Marvel Comics 2 of 20 as always if you guys watch this far into the video I thank you. I do want to let you know about the 600 subscriber giveaway. Um, we'll be giving that away really soon. I um, know we're either super close or we already passed 600 subscribers. Um, and we'll be raffling it off like always. Just like, comment, and subscribe down below. And yeah. <laughs> Alright guys. We'll see you next time. And have a great day. For the undervalued key show.